Hey survivors, in this video I'm going to be talking about how narcissists are con artists. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can email me at narcsforevercoaching at gmail.com. Check out the new merchandise in the Narc Survivor store. We have new designs in our t-shirts, tank tops and mugs. The link to the Narc Survivor store is in the video description. Narcissists are con artists. They cheat or trick people by persuading them to believe something that is not true. They paint a picture of themselves that is not in accordance with fact or reality. They will give suggestions that might imply or indicate a certain fact or situation knowing that it has no connection or association to them. The narcissist cons you through deception. They deliberately cause you to believe something that is not true for their own personal gain. They intentionally give you a mistaken impression They trick you into believing that you are onto a great deal with them. They make you believe that you have an understanding, you have an arrangement. Naturally, as the narcissist is implying or indicating that they have something to offer, something that might benefit or favour you in some way, something for you to appreciate. You decide to invest. You decide to devote your time, effort, energy or money into this particular undertaking with the expectation of a worthwhile result. You expect it to be worth the significance and importance that you are given to it. And why wouldn't you give it such significance and importance? The narcissist is very convincing, very persuasive. They lead you to believe through reasoning or the use of temptation that you will get a return on your investment. But this is where the problems begin. Because although the narcissist was very convincing, very persuasive, and they implied or indicated that they have something to offer, that they might benefit or favor you in some way, they were only engaged with you because you had something that they wanted. They only occupied or attracted your interest or attention because they wanted to partake of something that you had to offer. Of course, they knew that you, were, you weren't going to invest in someone who had nothing to give back or wasn't capable of being reciprocal. So they deceived you. They lied about their abilities and personality. They made you believe that you were going to get a return on your investment. Depending on the target and the situation, there is another trick that the narcissist likes to use. 
it is a very predatory and exploitative tactic but it is also very effective and that is why they use it they take advantage of your vulnerabilities or weaknesses they target your loneliness financial difficulties insecurity poor health lack of knowledge and information They have a lack of conscience. They are so preoccupied with their own agendas that they don't even consider how this will affect you. All they care about is what they want and you have it. So they are going to do whatever it takes to extract this from you. They play the part of someone who is very charming and persuasive. They gain your trust and confidence just long enough so they can extract what they wanted from you. You begin to realize that nothing they implied or indicated ever actualized or manifested. You confront them and then you are made to feel wrong or shameful for even desiring or expecting anything from them. You are made to feel as though you are not worthy or deserving of receiving anything of any value or significance. Despite everything you had invested in them. They might even convince you that you just need to be patient and wait a little longer. Or you need to invest more of your time and resources in them. This is how they manage your expectations and use future faking. They make you believe that there is some reward in the future. If you just stay patient with them and continue contributing your time and energy. But no matter how long you stick around, nothing ever actualizes or manifests. They disappoint you so often that disappointment becomes the norm. You expect them to fail to fulfill your hopes or expectations. And this just aids the narcissist even more. As you begin to expect less and less from them, they are free to get away with more and more. Once you have invested all of your time and resources in them, you don't really want to leave. You don't want to accept that you invested all of your time, effort, energy and money into something that is never going to return in a way that benefits or favours you. You want to believe their lies. You want to believe in them. You want to believe that if you just hold on, it will be worth everything that you had to go through. All of the pain and suffering that you had to endure. And the narcissist knows this. 
They know that this is going on in your mind. They know that you are so completely hurt and disappointed inside that you are willing to believe anything. You are still hopeful. You are still expecting and desiring a future event. This is why they use the future faking. It plays on your feelings of being hopeful about the future. The narcissist seeks to convince you that staying with them and their power, charm or physical attractiveness will benefit you in some way or it will protect you in a dangerous world. This is designed to trap you and make you depend on them. It's to make you feel as though you can't just leave and start over again on your own. It's designed to make you feel as though you are not capable of living without them. As with any dishonest scheme of false protection or a false sense of security, the costs outweigh any benefits. The closer you get to the narcissist and the more you depend on them, the more trapped you will become and the more they will drain you of your resources. Once you've finally figured out who you were dealing with and you hold back on your time and resources, they move on to someone else to go through the same process all over again. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforevercoaching at gmail.com Check out the new merchandise in the Narcs Forever store where you can purchase your own Narcs Forever t-shirt, tank top or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.